Welcome to Ask Jerry and Rebecca, part of Cold Wax Academy, a free video series where we answer your questions about cold wax medium. Hi, welcome to this episode of Ask Jerry and Rebecca, now part of Cold Wax Academy. Today's question comes to us from Dottie Seymour, Rosemary Amon, and Leslie Mayen Russo. And the question is about framing and presentation of cold wax paintings. And people often ask whether they need to frame their paintings, put them under glass. So I want to cover that from a couple of different perspectives. First, let's start with just your basic cold wax painting done on a cradled panel. That's probably the most common uh, scenario. Those paintings, once they're finished, don't need any kind of special framing, cover, or protection for their presentation. Rebecca and I finish our paintings, prepare them for hanging, and they go out into the world. Cold wax surfaces are durable and they don't need to be behind glass. Framing a painting like that can serve two purposes. One, it can protect excuse me, it can protect the corners. The corners of a cold wax painting do have a tendency to get nicked or chipped easily because at that point they're a little bit brittle and it's very hard not to bump the corners of your painting as, as they're out in the world. So it can help with that. It also serves as a visual um, effect with your painting. I don't like that effect for my paintings. I like the simplicity of the painting itself as a standalone entity, but I do think there are paintings that really are raised up a level by a kind of framing, whatever that may be. So if that interests you, then feel free to consult a framing specialist about what kinds of frames you might need. That being said, if you're going to frame a painting like that, you do need to decide whether you're going to frame it as a freestanding oil painting or if you're going to put it behind glass. I have strong opinions about this as I have about many things, but cold wax surfaces are so beautiful and rich and tactile and that matte quality is so incredible that I think it's a shame to put them behind glass if you don't need to. It's just one more barrier between the painting and the viewer. And so often when people see my paintings, they want to reach out and touch them. And I don't want to rob them of that visual or tactile experience if I don't have to. And since they don't need to be behind glass, I would encourage you, that unless it's absolutely necessary, not to put glass in front of your cold wax paintings. If you do put a painting behind glass, you do need to think about a couple of things. As cold wax paintings and any oil painting cures over time, it releases chemicals into the air. If you trap a painting behind glass too soon, it'll slow that curing process because the chemicals get trapped inside there. It's not dangerous, but it does slow the curing process. Also, those chemicals can accumulate on the inside of the glass and cause a kind of haze or a fog. And that's not dangerous, but it will need to be cleaned off periodically. So I would hold off as long as you can to put your paintings behind glass until they're fully cured. Now there are a group of paintings that I do think should be behind glass. And those are paintings that are done on paper. If you paint a painting on paper and you paint all the way to the edge of the paper, there's no white or no paper showing, I think you should mount those to a surface and then present them. And those, unless you mount them to more paper, don't need to be behind glass. But if there's any exposed mat or any exposed uh, border of paper around your cold wax painting, it really should be behind glass. And the reason is not about the cold wax painting portion, it's about the paper portion. And that is that paper is susceptible to chemicals in the air, particularly the acids, and to ultraviolet light. We've all seen newsprint, newspapers, magazines that have sat around our house in the sun and sometimes after just a day or two they start to yellow and become brittle. Now those are cheaper papers and we hopefully use higher quality papers, but no paper is 100% resistant to that. So your papers need to be protected from the air and especially from ultraviolet light. 
Now there's another reason I think we should put them behind glass, and that's about dirt. Everything in the world gets dirty. Even if you try not to touch that, that border of paper, over time, just the general dust and dirt that's in the air of your house is going to land on that paper, and it's going to get dirty. And it's essentially impossible to clean paper. Uh, if you get a mark on it or a fingerprint on it, that's going to be visible forever because if you try to erase it or rub it out or use that, that kind of sticky adhesive that people sometimes use on paper, it shifts the surface and that's going to be noticeable. So if you're painting on panels, I would encourage you to not frame them or if you do frame them, don't, don't put them behind glass. But if you work on paper and when you present them, you leave a border of paper around them, I would encourage you to mat those uh, in whatever way you like, and then present them behind glass. So I hope that helps answer your questions, and we'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.